impacts of climate change already affect Burkina Faso directly. But experience has helped forge a lesser-known resistance to the issue. Like many others, Yukuba Sawadogo uses the wisdom of his ancestors, which has enormous potential to help rural communities adapt to climate change. The Technical Center for Agricultural and Rural Cooperation, CTA, recognizes that there is no need to reinvent the wheel. The importance of indigenous knowledge, therefore, should not be underestimated. Yukuba has transformed some 40 hectares of previously bare land into a forest of 90 species of trees, many of which are used in traditional medicine. His secret? The Zai, an approach developed in West Africa to recover degraded land. Forty years ago, Yakuba began to experiment and adapt the method to his own country's climactic conditions. The Zai approach involves constructing small, rocky barriers to curb water runoff, allowing the water to seep into the soil and thus preventing erosion. Holes are then dug into which fertilizer is put before seeds of trees and cereals are planted. Despite the backlash, Yakuba did not hesitate to share his knowledge, which has gradually spread throughout the Sahel region. Today, 72-year-old Yakuba Sawadogo is training others to take up the mantle. This morning, he takes two of his sons for a tour of the forest. This and other forms of indigenous knowledge are crucial in the fight against climate change. For agriculture to receive sufficient backing, political and financial, to meet this challenge head-on, it is time for the voices of indigenous knowledge to be heard in key decision-making discussions. Mm -hmm.